This video is part of my video course that teaches how to test Java with GUnit and Magita. For other video lessons in this playlist, check description of this video. In this lecture, you will learn about a way or a pattern to structure your code inside of a test method. And if you follow this pattern consistently, then it will be easier to understand your test methods. Alright, so this pattern is widely used by many developers and it is known by two different names. And one of the names is AAA. I will add it in a comment here. So it's triple A, which stands for arrange. The first letter A stands for arrange. The second letter A stands for act. And the third letter A stands for assert. Okay. So now I will delete this triple A and will work with arrange, act, and assert sections. So the very first section in your test method that is called arrange is where you prepare and initialize all the needed variables and objects that are needed by your system under test or by your method under test to work and return expected result. For example, in this test method, I'm testing integer division. So to invoke my method under test, I first need to create an instance of calculator class. To do that, I can use a range section to prepare this object. So I will cut it from here and I will paste it under a range section. So I can use a range section to prepare input parameters that either calculator class or method under test accept. And in this particular case, the input parameters are just integers and I have passed them to my integer division method right away, dividend four and divisor two. But if input parameters are complex objects, then it is better to prepare them in the arrange section. For example, I could have written this test method this way, integer dividend equals four, integer divisor equals two, and integer expected result equals two. And then I will use these parameters to invoke integer division method under test. Let's rename result to actual result and use it in the assert equals assertion, expected result and actual result. All right. So the next main section is called act. And in this section, you will actually invoke the method you're testing. And in this case, it's going to be the integer division method. So you will use act section to invoke your method under test and receive back an actual result. And the next section, which is called assert, will be used to validate the return value, which you have received from your method under test. All right, so in the assert section, you will write Java code that will validate the returned value from the integer division method. If the returned value is what is expected and is correct, then test method will pass. If the returned value is not what was expected, then test method will fail. All right, so these are the three main sections of your unit test method, and they're meant to help us better organize code in a test method. You might also come across this same pattern, but known under a different name. So the arrange section will actually be called given. The act section will be called when, and the assert section will be called then. So it reads like this. Given that we have this information, these are preconditions, when we use this information to invoke our method under test and let it act on it, then the following should be true. All right, so a very clear and descriptive test method name together with display name annotation and arrange act and assert pattern help us easier understand what the test method is trying to test.